go around the gallery, whether it's the National Gallery or whatever, I look at the paintings and I create the story from what I see. And, and that's the most important thing for me in a painting, is to create an opportunity for narrative. You don't always necessarily have to deliver a complete narrative, in my opinion. You know, if you see something, and it could be just the, a head, you know, a portrait of someone, but they're looking slightly pensive to the distance, or they're to it, or they're frustrated, or they're happy and excited, or, or whatever, or lusting, or whatever. You can create the entire story. What happened before that moment, what's going to happen after that moment that, that's been captured in paint there? So the long game um, was, it was my first big solo show at Clarendon in Mayfair. So the idea was to create this high stakes poker game um, that ends up going terribly wrong. And we ended up uh, casting at BAFTA. And so the idea was to create a really immersive show. And I want, I want to tell the story with the paintings. Right, that's the, the idea, isn't it? But to, to immerse yourself in that world when you're looking at that painting. So I thought for this one night, why don't we have all the people in the painting come out of the painting and join us in the gallery? And I think that's what people really want. They want to be able to tell stories, you know? That's what we all love, telling stories, telling people about what we've been up to, you know, and, and that sort of thing. And I think by creating a really immersive show like that, it just gives people a little bit something extra to really sort of dive in and, uh, and be part of something. always got to create the story beforehand because you know an opportunity will come up so at that point then I start creating the story start thinking what could happen you know what's going on people would like gamble one guy had won like eight million in one night the people that gamble at the Ritz gamble massive quantities of, of money so I was like okay well, what about if someone was stealing these chips maybe it was like one of the hostesses that goes around delivering drinks you know maybe one of the players gets a bit drunk and she steals a little chip and she's got a nice little setup going on and so the story starts evolving and evolving and then i and i write it as a screenplay because i'm recruiting actors as my models a lot of the time because they they t take direction very well actors and so at that point i've got a screenplay a, a series of actors and i'm ready to um shoot it all and then bring it back to the studio. It's a painting, you know, but this is like weeks later, you know, after you've had to set everything up, after you've had to recruit all the actors and get everyone involved that needs to be involved and, you know, agree on a shoot date and then edit with the photos. When you paint, because I've painted tons, you know, thousands and thousands of hours of painting, the painting part is the last bit that happens. And you can have happy accidents in the painting, you know, and you can see opportunities and you can still change further. It's further editing, further editing, further editing, you know, as you go. But during that painting process, all the voices are going off in my head, you know, the characters are talking to each other and I, I get really immersed in the whole story and the, and the plot and what's going on. And, you know, oh, this guy needs to be angrier. Oh, this guy needs to be bigger. Oh, this, uh, you know, so it's, it's like an absolutely amazingly fun process. It's very important for me to be, uh, you know, the, the, the orchestrator of it all, the, the, you know, the, the guy that comes up from, you know, with the, this, this kernel of an idea and then creates the whole process, the whole way through. So that then when someone buys a, a painting that I've done, they're buying a piece of me, you know, I've invested heavily right from the ground up, you know, from the idea, from developing the characters, developing the story, giving them then this piece of the story that's, that's come from me. It's very important to me, you know, that it's not borrowed, you know, from someone else. 